Are you okay? Wait, I can help you with that. I got some tissues. Did someone spell that slushy all over you on purpose? In there. Well, for what it's worth, they usually get bored of that pretty quickly. So, well, they just ignore me now, so I'm sure they'll leave you alone pretty soon, too. Are you new here, by the way? Don't think I've seen you around before. Oh, cool. I'm Rose, by the way. Oh, hey, hey, don't, don't cry. Uh, no, it's okay. Um, I've had my fair share of crying in the bathroom. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. Want to tell me what happened? I mean, you don't have to, of course, but I think it helps to get it off your shoulders, you know. And I'm a good listener, so... Okay, you can stop anytime if you don't feel comfortable with telling me anymore. So... What happened? She's the worst of them. I'm so sorry I had to go through that. Yep. This all sounds very familiar. Well, I think the only reason they haven't been able to get through to me yet is because I'm too stubborn to allow their words to affect me. Or, well, at least I tell myself that. You know what they say, hurt people hurt people. Of course, that doesn't justify any of their actions. But it explains some things. The thing is, the more you repeat something, or have someone else repeat something to you, the more you start to believe it. Even if it's a complete lie. So, when they tell you things like, you're useless, which obviously isn't true, but when they keep saying things like that, you might eventually start to believe it. And might even start saying that and thinking that about yourself. So, from now on, promise me that you will not say anything bad about yourself anymore. No matter what these other people say. Every single time you look in a mirror from now on, only if you're alone, of course, I want you to come up with a completely over-the-top, 
exaggerated compliment. <laughs> Actually, let's try that right now. I want you to look in that mirror and say to yourself, I am the most amazing person in the world. You have to do it. You have to say it out loud. You need to hear yourself say it. Okay, say it with me then, okay? Two times. I am the most amazing person in the world. I am the most amazing person in the world. <laughs> I like your smile. The good thing is, you don't have to believe yourself yet. Doesn't matter. You just have to keep repeating that. I mean, just look at how easily you believed all of the bullshit they were saying about you. Even though none of it is true. So, who says you can't or shouldn't be a lot to convince yourself that you are the most talented, good-looking, awesome person in this world. <laughs> Promise me, okay? That at least three times a day, when you're on your own and you're maybe scrolling through social media or something, that you will pause for a moment and tell yourself how awesome you are. Promise? Okay, good. <laughs> you are pretty cool, you know. I hope that You'll soon realize that yourself. Oh, look, it's not so bad. At least they used a yellow slushy. They uh, threw a red slushy at me once. I was wearing a white t shirt that day. No, it's okay. Like I said, they mostly ignore me now. So, aside from what happened, how do you like our school so far? It is a very pretty area, isn't it? And most of the teachers are really cool too, I have to admit. Even though they're not really good at noticing um, the environment among their students or maybe they choose to ignore it I don't know maybe they just know that getting involved sometimes might make things worse well at least they're kind 
Mr. Johnson is my favorite. Physics? <laughs> he very often doesn't give us any homework. Because he's still kind of a young teacher, so he still remembers the amount of work that we have to do. So he's pretty cool about it. I'm sure you'll like them. And like I said, I'm pretty sure they will leave you alone. So, why did you come here? Why did you move to this place? Hmm. A classic. Dad got a new job. So, where did you live before? Oh, that's pretty far away. Yeah, I get it. I probably miss my old home too. But I'm sure you can make a lot of good memories here too. If you want, after school I can show you a little bit of our town show you all the good places, the good cafes. Okay, cool. I'm just not, well, I'm never really sure how much time I have after school because um, I have an illness. It's nothing too bad, but sometimes, um, my doctors randomly call me to come over, so... Just so you know in advance, when I have to leave suddenly, it's not because I don't want to hang out. Oh, it's really nothing too bad, don't worry. to become a really confident person. <laughs> well, I'm not quite there yet either. It took me quite a while to get to this point. <laughs> My mom always tried to give me good advice. <laughs> she told me that. My dad always said that. He wanted me to grow up, never doubting myself. And then he wanted to make sure that I'd become strong. Oh. Oh, uh, my dad passed away. No, it's, it's okay. Um, that was a long time ago, when I was just a little baby. Never really knew him. Somehow, I feel connected to him still, if that makes sense. <laughs> this jacket is his, actually. <laughs> Alright. Just... These two bigger stains are a problem. They don't really seem to come off.
I have an extra sweater in my locker. I can just give that to you for now. Oh no, I insist. I want to help. You help me too, you know? Well, I originally intended to just spend the entire break in here. Wait until it's over, you know? But this was kind of fun. Um, you want to go get some lunch? Most people should be out of the cafeteria by now, so... And if anyone tries to do something like this again, there's the two of us now, so they'll have to get through both of us. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs>